Hello everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I thought it would be kind of fun to sit down and chat a little bit or maybe to dig through my collection a little and find my favorite corals in my collection. Now in this particular video, I'm just going to focus on my favorite coral lipsticks. And this video was actually inspired by my cousin Rebecca. My cousin Rebecca always reminds me of red nail polish. I just can't think of her and not think of red nail polish. But one of the other things that I think about when I think about her is her lipstick. She's always liked corals in the summer. And so I wanted to go ahead and share some of my favorite corals that I own. Now you guys know I have quite a few lipsticks. Lipsticks used to be like therapy for me. I used to go to the drugstore if I was having a sad day and I'd buy a lipstick. And so I do have quite a few. I think that lipstick is one of those things that is a quick pick me up. You put it on your face and all of a sudden you just look like you've got some color and you just look a little bit more awake and a little bit more refreshed. And so to me, Lipstick, like I said, is almost a type of therapy. But in any case, you didn't come here to hear my jibber jabber. You came to look at my favorite coral lipsticks. And I've got quite a few. Now, I've got a collection here of liquid lipsticks, of just regular bullet lipsticks, of, of a more lip gloss kind of uh, lip balm kind of lipsticks and then lip liners. So I thought I'd go ahead and start with my favorite formula, the one that I would pick every day of the week to wear if given, you know, a choice at this point in my life. And that's my bombs, balmy kind of lipsticks, you know, the ones that are just a little bit more moisturizing, a little bit more nourishing, and that leave such a healthy color on your lips. It makes you look like summer is all over your face, right? So my favorite one right now, the absolute one that I've enjoyed the most this summer would have to to go to this one right here and it's from Tarte and it's the Tarte uh, Glide and Go Buttery Lipsticks and this one's in the color Melon Punch. I really like this one this summer. Now I picked it up about a month ago and I'll go ahead and give you a swatch here so you guys can see what it looks like. That's it right there. Um, it is a little bit redder of a pink kind of coral. It's got a little bit more red to it than not. And but it is still quite a uh, a coral tone lipstick. And I'm wearing it right now. It's but it does have a little bit of a berry watermelon watermelon uh punchy look to it. Hence the name melon punch. I really do like this one. I think that the formula is brilliant. You put it on and it's almost a little bit gel like on your lips and then as it wears it wears away very gracefully. It, it keeps your lips hydrated but then it leaves a little bit of a stain on your lips and if I don't eat it will hold on for the four hours but if I'm drinking or anything like that it will kind of wear within two to three hours. I just really like that lipstick quite a bit and I'm really happy that I picked that up this summer. Another one that I've liked a lot this summer and I also picked it up this summer would be this one from Julep and it's in the color Poppy and it's one of their hydrating lip shears and again I said it's in the color Poppy. And this is what they look like. I'm going to tell you something, guys. Julep has got the best freaking packaging. We all know we all love a good magnetic lip lipstick. Look at that. It will auto-correct itself. Did y'all see that? I'm trying to put it on there wrong. Watch. Did you guys get that? I hope you did. Another one. I have this one. Um, I have this one, which is Poppy. And then I have another one in the color Bellini. Um, I just think they're both beautiful. This one tends to be a more of a warm pinky coral makes sense so pretty again very hydrating on the lips very comfortable to wear wears very nicely on the lips I tend to like this one um if I'm wearing something a little bit more pinky you know but I just I love this uh this lipstick formula from Julep they're not as easy for me to find anymore they used to be at Ulta but not anymore so I'm not sure if I'll be picking up any more of those the next one I'll talk about is one that I picked up during the National Lipstick Day at Ulta. Uh, I have, uh, I think I'm going to do a small haul. I actually picked up several lipsticks during that big sale they had. But this is, this this would be one of the ones that I picked up during that sale. And it's by Persona and it's a gloss. And I didn't own anything by Persona. But you guys know that I enjoy watching Andre Ellie and she absolutely loves Persona. And so when I saw that they were on sale, I had to get one. So I picked up this one in the color Coral, and there you go. That's the swatch of it. And it's more orange than the other two, as you can see in the comparison. It is the only gloss that I'm going to talk about today because it's the only coral gloss that I really have enjoyed so far in my collection. It's really comfortable on the lips. I really like it on its own, but I will share with you guys some of the lip liners that I like to pair with it. A lot of times when I wear a gloss, I will wear a lip liner just to help with the longevity and with the 
actual color saturation on my lips. But if I want something easy peasy, something that's not going to be fussy at all, I will throw this on and it just gives me a hint of color on my lips. It's so very comfortable. I do love that one. And lastly, in that little uh, balm family that we were just talking about would be this one by uh, L'Oreal. It's from the Color Riche collection. Um, it's the Color Riche Shine Lipsticks and this one's in the color Luminous Coral. Um, that's Luminous Coral right there. Let me go ahead and give you the swatch. Now, Luminous Coral seems almost to be slightly the peachier one of the four. So the top one is a little bit more berry red. The middle one is more pinky coral. The, the, the Persona one is slightly more of a tangerine tone. And lastly, we've got the peachy coral from the Luminous Coral uh, from L'Oreal. It, uh, it is such a pretty lipstick. It's very hydrating uncomfortable. I own several from this line and I cannot recommend them enough. I will say that they aren't the longest wearing and if that's what you're looking for, don't look for these. <laughs> However, if you want something that's going to keep your lips hydrated, that will look make your lips look nice and juicy and just really healthy and and hydrated. So I'll go ahead and move into my bullet lipsticks and I'll share with you the ones I have. I've got some high end, I've got some luxury, and then I've got some drugstore. So we've got a little bit of everything for you guys. But I think I'm going to go ahead and start with one that I've shared with you guys already. And it's by MAC and it's from their Amplify formula and it's in the color Vegas Bolt. Now guys, from this point forward, I think I'm just going to swatch down the side of my arm. It just gives you guys a better, clearer picture. So this one's uh, Vegas Bolt. This is a Amplify formula from MAC, and so you guys can tell it's going to give you quite a bit of punch and quite a bit of color. It is more of an orangey coral, but it is quite a warm coral. I would have to say all of these are warm. Maybe one or two are a little bit more dusty or muted or dirty, if we wanted to call them. Maybe a dirty coral might be the best way, but this is not dirty at all. This is quite a bright, in-your-face coral. It's a gorgeous lipstick, very comfortable because it's from the Amplify formula, so it's quite hydrating, a bit of a satin finish, just a beautiful lipstick in general. Right. So, so now I'm going to go ahead and go a little bit more high-end, and I'll share with you guys one of my uh, Charlotte Tilbury's and it's in the color Coachella Coral. And this is from their Kissing line. Um, and this is it right here, right there. Uh, you guys won't believe this, but I actually dropped this on the floor recently and I almost had a coronary. But that's another story for another day. Um, this is it right here. It'll be the second one down. It's very similar to Vegas Bolt. It seems to almost have a little bit more berry to that, that um, coral. If I'm looking at it right, yeah, it just seems to have a little bit more of a, a berry undertone to it, like a red undertone, whereas Vegas Bolt definitely has more of an orange undertone. Just a beautiful satin lipstick, just performs just really nicely. My favorite from her line are these, the kissing ones. I am not crazy about the mattes. I do have one that I'll be sharing with you guys because I'm not crazy about any mattes. They're a little bit more drying. But this line, the kissing ones, they're very, very comfortable. They last fairly well on your lips. Um, they're the kind of lipstick that you put on like at eight o'clock in the morning and you're probably still going to have lipstick on your lips at two o'clock and you've eaten. They're really nice. They're comfortable, but they wear really, really well. Um, I do like Charlotte Tilbury's lipsticks, but I think that in this particular lineup that I have, I have others that I prefer. And so I'll go ahead and let you know which one of those I prefer. And this is one of them. It would be by Flower Beauty and it's in the color Coral Crush. And out of all the lipsticks that I'm going to share with y'all, the lipstick bullets like this, this is my favorite. This is Coral Crush right here. I'll go ahead and share it with you guys right there. Again, this is from the cream. She's, it's more of a cream lipstick. It's part of her cream line. Um, and this one's a little bit more pink in tone, undertone. So we've got a more orange up here, a more berry red right here, and then a little bit more pink undertone for a coral right there. This is Coral Crush from Flower Beauty. Just a really nice formulation. They wear really nicely on your lips. They don't seem to get stuck in any lines that you have or anything like that. Just a really good lipstick in general. And so moving on to a really good lipstick in general, and again, still quite drugstore. We're talking about the um, Maybelline mattes. This one's in the color Naked Coral. This is 
been in my collection for a little bit now and I really do like it. Now for a mat, these are great. Let me tell you, let me tell you if I'm going to pick a mat, I'm picking this one. And this is one of those that I was saying, it's a little bit more dirty, almost mauvey coral, if that makes any sense. If you look at it in comparison, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Just really pretty on your lips. It almost has that little bit of a gel kind of slide when you apply them. Um, just really comfortable and their pigmentation is on point. They last very well. Uh, just can't say anything bad about these. And in particular, I can't say anything bad about this particular color, Naked Coral. So next, I'll go ahead and share another one of my drugstore favorites in this color family. And it is from Revolution Beauty. And it's the Revolution Iconic Matte Nude Lipstick in the color Lust. This is it right here. The bullet just looks so much like the MAC bullet, right guys? Seriously, they did a really good job replicating it. So it looks fairly uh, expensive. And actually, uh, in actuality, here it is next to the Charlotte Tilbury. So, you know, it just looks just as rich. This was a little bit more heavy when you feel it. Um, but it isn't magnetic or anything like my Julep one that I showed you just a minute ago. It doesn't have that doesn't do that. Charlotte Tilbury's does not do that. So it is right up there with that packaging. It just looks very rich and you pull this out of your purse and you're going to feel all kinds of fancy and you spent $5, I think. So anyways, here it is. All that to show you the color. Here is the color. It's the color Lust. Let me go ahead and show that one on my arm. Very similar to Coral Crush from um, Flower Beauty. But that's it right there, Lust. Really pretty. It has a bit of a pink undertone to it, a little bit more pink than the Coral Crushes. Coral Crush seems to be a little bit more intense in, in pigmentation. Just a beautiful lipstick on the lips. It looks so nice on. It wears very comfortably, and you just, uh, it just performs really well. So, so yeah, it's right up there with my lipstick bullets is one of my favorites in the coral family. And then lastly in this whole little section would be this one again by Charlotte Tilbury and it's in the color Sexy Sienna. And I'll show it to you. And this one's more in the matte line, I think. Yeah, this one's from the matte line. So let me go ahead and uh, swatch it for you guys. That's it right there. I would say that this one is very similar to the Flower Beauty one. If you want it almost like a dupe here, let me go ahead and give you guys a side by side. That's Flower Beauty right here and next to it would be Sexy Sienna. So if you're interested, Coral Crush from Flower Beauty is very close to Sexy Sienna. However, there is a slight difference. So pretty on the lips. You'll be able to see it on my lips and up here in a swatch that I'll probably be included, including I just really do like this lipstick. Again, when I wear this one, I will typically put some form of a balm on, underneath or on top I'll wear a gloss. I don't tend to like these mattes without doing one of those two things. And then lastly, we can talk about my four liquid lipsticks that I like in the coral family. That I um, I've gotten rid of a lot of my uh, liquid lipsticks. They just are not my favorite and they're not my friends. I'm going to be 50 this month and um, anything that is just too drying on my lips just does not do me any favors. It shows every wrinkle and crevice that I have on my lips and that's not what I want. So in either case, these four perform very well and they all four have something very much in common. They're very much that moussey kind of formula that does not ever fully dry down, however, does have the ability to stick around. Um, one of them is a little bit more high end, but the other three are very much drug store price. So I'll go ahead and put, oh, I just yawned guys. I'll go ahead and put this one on this hand to give you guys a better um, swatch so you guys can see it. There you go. That's it right there. That's Dreamy from ColourPop and it's from one of the Kathleen Lights um, collaborations they've had. Um, and this is in the satin formula from ColourPop. This is still available on Ulta's website in case you're interested. I'm not sure if it's still on ColourPop, but I did see it on Ulta's recently. And again, this one's in the color Dreamy. It's part of a trio. I love this one. It's so pretty on the lips. It's a little bit dirtier, like I said, almost a little bit grungier of a coral if that is something at all. But yeah, that's what that one is. It's so pretty. I really do enjoy that one. And then my more um, high end would be this one by Bare Minerals. And it's in the color Weekend. I love the Bare Minerals Gen Lube line. I have several from this line. 
I picked them up several years ago and I have used them consistently. I think they perform so well. So let me go ahead and give you guys a swatch of Weekend. Weekend is a little bit of a dirty, more orangey coral. You guys will see. So the top has a little bit more of a uh, pink undertone, whereas this one has a little bit more of an orange undertone. They both are beautiful, very similar in formula and perform really, really nicely. Um, and then second or third, <laughs> third would be the velvet, the healthy lip velvet finish from Physicians Formula. And this one's in the color uh, Coral Minerals. And this one's definitely got more of a pink undertone. But again, it's got a little bit of that brown, a little bit brown of an undertone to it. Yet it's still very much a coral, that one right there. It's so pretty on the lips. These are really nice. The little um, applicator on this one has that little tip on the on the end. Let me go ahead and clean this off so you can see that. It has the little uh, arrow tip, and so it makes it really nice for outlining your lips. The Again, very much that moussey formula. That one right there would be Coral Minerals by Physicians Formula. So pretty on the lips. Very comfortable as well. Easy to remove, but remains on your lips for a fairly long time. And then lastly, when it comes to the liquid lipsticks kind of formula, it would be this one from Flower Beauty. And it's the Miracle Matte Lip. And they do have these at Ulta. And this one's called Nude Blush. Now, I don't find it nude and I don't find it a blush, but I do find it a coral. So I'll go ahead and give you guys a, a swatch of this one. Um, it's just a regular doe foot like the first two that I shared with you guys. Here it is. A bit more of, let's say, a dusty coral. It has a little bit of a dustiness to it, the last one right there. Liquid lipsticks, to me, always tend to be a little bit darker than what the tube shows. But on your lips, it comes off as a very much a coral, really pretty lippy on your lips. And very comfortable as well. Lasts quite well. Um, of my fa What is my favorite in that particular group? I would absolutely have to give it to the Bare Minerals Gen Nude just because I think their formula is exceptional. But the other three are just right up there with it. Those are some really nice corals that look so pretty and wear so nicely. And then lastly, I couldn't let this video go by without sharing my three uh, lip liners that I enjoy wearing when I wear a more coral lip. And I'll just start with my favorite. It's from Wet n Wild. In general, these are my favorite lip liners. They're very much... Um, that gel kind of formula that's why they're called the gel liner carry and so let me see where i can put these where you guys can see them let me see if i put them right here here's uh this one's in think flamingo right there that's think flamingo i hope that that's picking up but i'll be sure as well to include a swatch up in the corner that's think flamingo right there and then the next one i really enjoy is this one from flower beauty and it's in the color it's in the color rose and it's called rose but wait till you guys see it it's got a lot of pink like corally pink to it now oh, guys i'm a right handed so writing with my left hand not so easy so as you guys can see right there that's rose from flower beauty but it's definitely in my opinion quite a coral rose if that makes sense that's just a really nice lip liner it works really well and it just really helps to amp up the pigmentation if you're going to be wearing a gloss over it and then lastly is this one right here it's by nyx it's the slide on glide on stay on definitely turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner and this one's in the color bed rose and let me go ahead and give you guys a swatch of bed rose this one's one of those that you have to sharpen that's bed rose it's almost like a dusty coral maybe no Am I wrong? So that's it right there, um, that third one right there. Anyways, in either case, these are the lip liners that I tend to pull out when I'm gonna wear a coral lipstick. I think they work really, really nicely. They perform so well on the lips. And um, all of these are just, they're just so good, all of them, they're so good. 
So guys, thank you so much for taking your time and visiting with me today and talking about my favorite coral lipsticks. I hope that you enjoyed this and that maybe one of these lipsticks is in your collection and it'll remind you to pull it out and enjoy it while we're still here in the summer and it's still nice and warm. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you come back and visit me and watch all the other coral videos I have coming up. If you haven't yet, please take a second and subscribe. I'd love to have you be part of my family. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope y'all have a great day and y'all be blessed. Bye.